warm welcome. Thank you for joining us for celebrating the inauguration of this state-of-the-art facility. I would also like to thank Mr. Rahil Ansari for coming down and joining us for the inauguration of this showroom. I think as some of you are aware, this is a long-awaited showroom and uh, probably one of the, uh, the way it has come up, it's one of the largest showrooms in South India, uh, more than 12,000 square feet. Uh, it's double height, which as you can see, it has a frontage of almost 80 feet, 18 feet of uh, height. Uh, even the way the uh, facility is built in terms of uh, the detailing and all, it's built as per the Audi norms and it reflects Audi's uh, brand philosophy in terms of the detailing, in terms of the architecture, in terms of uh, many elements like the signature honeycomb facade. I think for us, uh, the intent was not only to create a facility, but to create a world-class facility. So for today, uh, globe trotting uh, in India is a globe trotting season today. So for him, I think in terms of the pre-buying experience, uh, not only when he owns the car, but even when he comes in to buy the car, uh, the way he's handled, the way the elements are created around him to give him comfort, and uh, so that he becomes one with the facility, not just when he's buying, but even otherwise. So there's a lot of detailing which is done, as you will see around you, right from a sit-out area to a lounge to a lot of other things which will actually create an ambience which will be welcoming for him. Uh, I think this facility has a display of nine cars, I think Audi, I think for us, it's been a very long association over 10 years and I must say it's been very, very encouraging for us. We have a total of over 3,500 customers, uh, satisfied customers, which we have, you know, probably worked along with over the years. Uh, this year has also been very exciting for us in terms of uh, all the uh, new launches we have and inaugurations we have for the showroom. Uh, very soon also we will be coming up with a service facility and a small uh, sales facility in Vijayawada. We are also very happy to share that we are almost doubling the service park for Audi from wherever the current level is. The idea is that to ensure that the customer gets a after sales experience similar to the uh, pre-buying and buying experience. And we've also been very, very mindful to uh, go closer to the customer. So we have one facility in Hyderabad, which of course is there for from the beginning. We're coming up one more in uh, Sikandrabad, one in Vijayawada, and of course we have one in Vizag. So I think with the overall service park, uh, this is going to double, which will probably uh, <clears throat> really add in terms of creating a complete experience for the customer. Uh, and once again, I would like to thank all the customers for their support for to us and the brand. Thank you all. And uh, now can I request Mr. Rahil Ansari to please come and uh, share the podium and address all of you. Uh, Rahil. It's, too, it's not loud enough. Namaskaram. He's the only one saying it. You are also saying it. Okay. Naperu Rahil Ansari. Me andariki na swagatam. Um, very happy being here today. It's a great honor for me being here. Uh, I remember that I came back, I came in Hyderabad, uh, to Hyderabad 12 years ago. That was 2007 when I met Mr. Sangvi for the first time. So that goes long back, basically, that partnership that we have with Olympus Motors and with Mr. Sangvi. Uh, so it's even a greater honor for me being here on stage uh, as the head of the brand. Now, Talking a little bit about Audi, I want to give you a little bit of a, of a background of what has happened um, basically in the year 2018 and what has happened also in the year 2019. Just looking for the presenter, yeah, there it is. So, um, so 2018 for us was clearly also a year where we said we will revamp the entire strategy of Audi India. We have a very strong base, which is basically the brand. The brand of Audi has been in India since 2007. So now 12 years in terms of operations. And when we came to India, people were not always aware of what Audi stands for. But if we say now, char churia, char bangri valigari, four rings, uh, everyone knows it's about the four rings, it's about Audi. Uh, independent of how you pronounce it, Audi, Odi, Odi, there are different ways of pronouncing uh, Audi and this is basically also 
the way we have established the brand. For us, it's very important also to, to build up on this brand basis. And we said now there are a couple of pillars that are very important to us in terms of positioning the brand properly and on the way forward in terms of sustainability. Key for us is uh, sustainability and profitability also on the way forward. That means together with our partners. And that means also for a long-term basis of being here in India, because we've been here obviously also for 12 years now. And these four pillars that we're talking about is product, it's about network, it's about customer connect, and it's about digitalization. Now, what have we done in 2018 in terms of activities? I'll just give you a little bit of a glimpse of it. Some of it you have, of course, seen in the video. Perfect. So a couple of things uh, we have done in, in 2018. We started the year off with the Q5 launch, um, where we had uh, Miss World, Manushi Chilla there, uh, and a couple of other celebrities to actually also continue our path in the SUV segment. Um, we have been always doing a couple of firsts with Audi in India. To, uh, in September 20, 2006, we, we came to India with the first Q7. The national sales company Audi you know, had not been established then. At that point in time, we had three partners. We came with the Q7. So that was the first SUV in that segment. In 2011, the Q5 came. It was the first SUV in that segment. In 2012, the Q3 came. 2014, the A3 came. So a couple of firsts for each segment we had created. And the same we have done also in 2017 for the A5. Of course, the continuation with the Q5 in 2018, in January, was another success for us. What else have we done in 2018? Um, we launched the RS5, which is our ultimate sports car, with uh, our brand ambassador Virat Kohli. Um, for us, of course, a, a, a nice tie-up and, and a small anecdote of the, of the launch when I was driving with Virat basically from the, from the hotel to the showroom. He told me, Rahal, you know what? When Audi signed me a few years back, everyone in the room was very happy about it. I said, yeah, yeah, of course. But you know what? People did not realize I was the happiest and most thrilled because I get to drive all of those cars that you have. And that's something which is really nice of a brand ambassador to say, because this is not something you can breathe to a person. It's something that really comes from the heart. And this is probably also one of the reasons why we really like him. Um, now, apart from this, we've, uh, we've also launched globally the Audi e-tron. Um, electrification plays also part of a crucial role for us, but I'll come to this also later on. And a couple of other market, uh, marketing activities you have probably seen. For example, also, um, and I know everyone is talking about it, and you will probably also ask me about it. There are already a lot of rumors on it. Uh, the tie-up with Coffee with Karan, uh, season six. Uh, answer of the season was always the question, who is winning? Yeah, uh, there were a lot of rumors on who has won. Uh, now, the, uh, last week, for the past two weeks, I've heard one name. Now, on Monday, there was another name now throw, thrown in uh, based on, on Sunday's edition. So it's pretty interesting. Uh, but of course, you will get to know soon. So please don't ask me on this who is going to win. Now, what's happening in 2019? 2019 is, uh, for us, clearly the year of the eights. Um, why is that so? Because we will launch three new models. First of all, we will launch the A8, we're looking at launching the R8, and we're looking at launching the Q8. For us, clearly three important models where we are saying these will position us there where we belong. It's Audi has always been and will remain an aspirational brand in India and globally. And uh, with, these, with these cars, we're not looking in, yeah, into high volumes, but it's clearly from an exclusivity perspective of positioning a brand further uh, in that area. So these cars we're of course looking at. Of course there will be more cars um, uh, coming, but uh, I will not go into all of those details now. Um, now what does that mean for us in terms of strategy in, term, in, in 2019? For us clearly importantly is, um, as I said, the four pillars. Uh, when it comes to the product part of it, I mentioned the year of the eights. When it comes to the network part for us, it's clearly a workshop first approach. We do believe in growing in, in tier two and tier three cities also from a workshop uh, first approach and I'll come to this also on the next slide. Customer connect. There's a lot happening on, on customer connect. We do believe that as a brand, as a luxury brand, you have, to, uh, you have to be not only experiential, but you have to be approachable as a brand. 
luxury cannot cannot only stay aspirational it has to be on the one hand but it also has to be made accessible that's why we do believe also in a lot of driving experience and driving our cars and driving events because customers potential customers audi loyalists and friends should also be in a position to drive those cars and feel those cars that's one aspect of it the other aspect of it is connecting with each other audi is always part of a family you're you're a small part you're a family and once you have entered the Audi brand, you should be part of the Audi brand, you should be there. Family stays together in good times and in bad times. This is what it is and this is also our philosophy that, that uh, customers who have been with Audi, who enter the Audi brand, that they also stay with Audi and with us as a brand. Of course, the digital experience nowadays, social media is big, uh, the digital experience has to continue as well. Some of it we do already see here in the showroom, I'll come to this also uh, on, the, on the next slides. And this will further continue our digital pathway. Um, clearly for us, 2019 will be the year of, of digital as well. And we will announce uh, some more details on what Audi is doing in terms of digitalization in India uh, in March. So uh, stay tuned on this, this is going to be definitely interesting. Now looking at uh, the workshop first experience, I just wanted to uh, share a slide with you, which is interesting for us, it's, it's clearly important in cities where we don't have a big car park, um, but, uh, but surely an amount of car park that is interesting, we go there with the workshop first approach. Video Vada is, for example, one of those examples where we do believe that it's important to have a service setup, and once the amount of cars is there, that justify establishing a showroom, we will also do this. This is important for the customer connect because um, if a customer in those cities buys a, an Audi, he should also be she should also be having the assurance that his car is in safe hands, that he has the service experience that he has anywhere in other cities, in bigger cities. And clearly this is also part for us and we will inaugurate a couple of more workshops in 2019. Workshop only. Yeah? Now, why are we here? And this is the most, uh, the most interesting and the most uh, key point. It's the opening, the inauguration of this beautiful facility. Mr. Sangri has said it also. If I, if I look at this entire scene, the entire spaciousness that we have created with this facility, it's something which is not only unique, but it's something that gives you also a little bit of a feeling of freedom and liberty to move around this showroom. And the idea of the, of the showroom, of course you cannot see it because the cars are not inside and not everything is set up here, is that you come into a showroom and you feel at home. You come here, you have a nice coffee in the coffee, in the coffee bar, you, also will, you will also have a, a play area. It's a combination of a playful and experiential state-of-the-art showroom. Not only the size is important, but also how the customer flow has been, has been created, because it's very intuitive. You will, you will come in, you will be greeted, you have the cars, you have the coffee bar, you have a, um, you have a kids area, you have also a digital displays, you have a lounge area where you can sit down, have the coffee, chit chat, and you have also digital elements where you can play around. The idea is not to, is not to make customers come into a showroom and tell them oh, you have to buy a car. That's not the idea, but customers should come here even if it's just for a cup of coffee. As I said, it's being part of a family, it's feeling at home. And this is something which Audi is, stands for and is very important to us that we do believe in this family approach. Now that's about it, long speech. Um, I'm very happy being here, um, very proud to, uh, of being associated uh, with such a strong uh, dealer partner. Um, with Olympus Motors and um, of course uh, I would like to welcome you now officially again. Uh, please enjoy the time here also in the, in the showroom. I think from a visibility perspective once you drive on the roads you have a nice view on, on what the Audi showroom stands for and uh, thank you very much. So we will have minimum f uh, four separate new workshops in uh, 2019 and the rest is to be decided upon market demand. So what is important for us is that tier two and tier three cities have grown in terms of car park. So it's, uh, it's very important for us that um, as a workshop first approach we also have new workshops or only workshops, service facilities where the car park has grown. 
and we want to make sure that the customer has a good service experience like in the other cities uh, or like in the metro cities where we already have a full-fledged uh, showroom including a workshop. Tier 2, Tier 3 cities is mainly focusing on workshop, uh, first approach. Uh, when it comes to metros, for us it's clearly also that we are looking at expanding into metros. So yeah, they, I, I think it's it's clear that f uh, for us the main region is uh, has been in the past uh, NCR and Delhi. That is the main where the main volume is. But clearly for us also uh, there are other important cities, especially like the city of Hyderabad um, uh, in the south, where we feel that there's a lot more potential because uh, even those cities have grown to a, such a high extent that luxury is now accessible uh, and people will want to live also luxury and to purchase it. Um, we sold 6,463 cars last year. Um, for this year, we're expecting a flat year. We don't expect any, any growth on this year, um, mainly on, on two accounts, because uh, the cars that we are launching are not volume cars. Uh, we're more looking into exclusiv exclusivity of those cars. Um, but of course, the years forward going, we will also launch cars where you look into higher volumes. South markets are, are pretty important for us, as I said. Uh, I think especially hubs like Hyderabad and Bangalore, these, uh, these are two cities that are clearly very important to us. So we are looking at, uh, at growing in those cities. Um, it's, it's clearly uh, the way the southern markets have developed. It's uh, pretty interesting, not only in terms of the size of automotive market or in terms of the size of the luxury market, but especially also in terms of economic growth and also other sectors, especially IT. If I look at how the IT has developed in, in the city of Hyderabad, it's pretty impressive. And that also shows that there's a lot more potential in the future to come.